Elio guys and welcome back and in today's old video we're gonna be taking a look at Gatito because his capture festival is currently going on here so if you're a newer player and you don't have him yet well hopefully this video will help so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it alright you guys so we're starting off here with fire Gatito but quick disclaimer do remember that Gatito is single target just FYI, in case you don't know, like if you're a newer player and you're doing the capture festival, keep in mind all of the Gatitos are single target. So let's go ahead and take a look at Fire Gatito here. He is a balanced type. He's coming in with 28k HP, 2.2k attack, and then 2.1k defense. I had to go over there and eye his stars real quick because I was like, is he a nat 4? But he's just a nat 3, so his stat distribution makes sense. It's nothing spectacular at all but let's take a look at these skills right here so he has recovery seal on his three star skill and then he also has petrification if i click on the right thing so recovery seal is 100 percent chance uh and this disables the enemy's hp recovery for two turns which can basically prevent them from healing and then petrification uh is 100 percent chance for one turn and i'm just not a big fan of petrification because unlike stun and basically anything else in the game if you petrify them on, yeah, you can stall them out, but unless maybe they're sapped, there's really no way to do any source of reliable damage on them. I could be wrong. Never really test out petrification because there's better options there. But yeah, let's take a look at the skill books though. So uh, recovery seal receives a whopping, what is that, 35% damage boost. And then petrification also receives a 35% damage boost. And because he's a single target, I'll bring this up later. There is a slightly higher multiplier in terms of his damage as a single target Mon here. So do keep that on the back of your uh, brain as we go along with the video here. But I mean, in terms of his kit, recovery still is useful in situations where you kind of need to prevent a Mon that you're fighting from healing. So then hopefully you can burst them down. But petrification here doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really bring anything to the table. It's like I'm punishing you by doing a high single target, you know, multiplier upon you but also possibly petrifying you so no one else can do any damage to you. It doesn't really synergize together, and I do recall back in the day that RGB Gatito really didn't even exist, if I'm remembering correctly. Like, I think there was only Dark, like, at some point in time, but I could be wrong. But yeah, I don't really find any use for him whatsoever. I'm not sure if Apophis requires Recovery Seal at some point you know during that process because that is hit auto up there but even as a entry level pvp mon for those of you guys that just began a game or trying to capture him and get him up to evo 3 well this is just astro guide only all right and then coming in next though we do have water gatito he's a defender type and he's coming in with a whopping 24k hp 1.7k attack and then 3.7k defense good thing he's a single target defender said no one ever I literally believe one of the only accepted like single target Astromon in terms of like a PvP situation, I think, is either light or dark Zubaji. I think it's just one of those. Other than that, like it's just like don't even just don't even bother, dude. That orange isn't worth the squeeze. But let's take a look at these bad boys' skills. So he has attack down, 100% chance for two turns, and then he also has sap, two times sap for 80% chance for two turns. Very interesting kit because he's a defender, he has high defense, but he literally does nothing but lower the enemy's attack. Once again, I'm trying to find a more practical use here, but it's just very, very difficult. Uh, let's take a look at the skill books though. So attack down receives a 35% damage boost, and then sap receives a 10% damage boost and goes up to 100%. Is it for two turns or for one? 100% for two turns. So there is some sap action going on here. I wouldn't even call him like a great value uh, Dark Arthur because at least part of Dark Arthur's kit can still be useful. This is just existing once again. And before you guys go out here and say, but Elio, you can use him here, you can use him there. Especially as a newer player, you have access to another mon called Water Sea Star, which is fairly common in the high eggs. So even if you're stuck running Golem's B8 right now, as you kind of prep for your B10 team, well, congratulations. You will probably end up pulling enough uh, C stars to get her to EVO 3, if not halfway to EVO 3. And she's just going to be more practical because she's double sap. Her sap is easily uh, being able to be booked up. And yeah, I really don't find any practical use for this. There is a tack down if you want it to bring it somewhere. But outside of his defense stat, even his HP isn't any anything super duper amazing here. So yeah, I'm really just drawing blanks. But... I'm trying to keep things positive over here, but yeah, that is unfortunately Water Gatito as well. 
You know, I realized something, you guys. Why would they do Gatito dirty? I understand that they gave us Light Dart, and well, Light Dart is like the bad version of Dark Gatito, or shall I say, you know, less desirable version of Dark Gatito. They gave my boy Gatito freaking Nat 3 versions of himself, but Dart was Nat 4, and both of these mons at some point in time have both been in the Lupin dungeon, but I understand we don't have wild darts running around, but still. How is Smart Study going to be doing my boy Gatito wrong like that? Is it really that much of a problem to have freaking Dark Gatito exist? I understand back in the day, but nowadays he's just like a dime a dozen, dude. Like, Smart Study, what's going on, man? But anyways, we do have Wood Gatito, who is an attacker type, and he's coming in with 26k HP, 2.6k attack, and then 1.7k defense. That defense is dirt nasty low. If you sneeze on him, he is literally going to pass away. Just FYI. But his attack stat, I can get behind that. His HP stat, I can get behind that too. Is actually higher than the defender's uh, HP. And I want to say the balance one as well. But he's literally an attacker. I, I would take that stat wise. But let's take a look at these skills. So he has defense down, 100% chance for two turns. And then he also has fatigue which grants 100% chance to cause fatigue an enemy for three turns. Fatigued foes gain nothing from blue souls. Once again, I'm trying to remain a bit positive here. Defense down can be useful in certain situations where your DPS just isn't enough at that point in time, but it's just fairly rare that it's useful after a certain point as you have begun MSL. You know, I'm talking more so to the newer players out there. So. This isn't bad considering, I mean, he is a nat 3, and while Fatigue isn't my favorite, I mean, outside of that, you could possibly try to run him in PvP and maybe wait for the nat 3 league for all the newer players out there. That way you have some type of offensive mon, even though, I mean, Fatigue can prevent the enemy from getting some souls, hopefully they'll die from it, but if they don't, at least, you know, you can kind of mitigate that. But outside of that, there's really nothing else that I can think of. I'm trying to remain positive with these guys, man. I'm trying here, but Smart Study's making it very difficult. But Defense Down receives a whopping 35% damage boost just like everything else, and Fatigue receives a 35% damage boost as well. And with him being single target, I mean, you should get some damage out of there, but I would only chance this during the Nat 3 League. And even then, it's kind of pushing it. But if you are a newer player, and you literally have no water nukers at all outside of Mushi, which I would just bring Mushi, honestly, if you're going to be doing the Net 3 League, well, give this guy a shot. If not, once again, he's for the Astro Guide. And then coming in next, though, we do have Light Gatito. He is a tank type coming in with 34k HP, 2.2k attack, and nearly 2.4k defense. So, tank type... He's the nat 4, but his HP is only 35k as a tank? Wow, that seems a little bit low to me. I'm not saying that it needs to be like 40k, but I figured it'd be like 36, even 37, but... It is what it is. I mean, Smart Study just had to do him dirty because apparently Dark Gatito is just too powerful for this world. But let's take a look at these skills here. So he has sap, 100% chance uh, in terms of his sap for two turns. And it's just one-time sap? Yeah, it's just one-time sap. That is not cool whatsoever and he also has hp aggression for his five star skill since some of you guys may be new to the game we can read here attack power becomes proportional to the own max hp of that mon so if you encounter one of these mons either if they have dual aggression on both their three and five star skill or either aggression on either one of the skills make sure you try and build them with that stat as much as possible here just so that you can not only give them survivability up to a certain point but you can also take advantage of their skill just fyi but taking a look at the skill book sap receives a 35 percent damage boost and then it looks like hp aggression only receives a 25 percent one i guess they didn't want to make that too strong but i always feel like the hp aggression um, modifier anyways for its damage is slightly lower than everything else I could be wrong with that too, but I do feel like there's like a certain threshold that you really need to hit before you see like large benefits from it, which makes sense with game balancing here. So I do want to say that I've seen some people comment, especially in terms of like the tier list. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, feel free to check it out. Uh, some people have said like they've used mons like Dark Arthur um, for sap. I don't necessarily approve of that. But if that's all you have to use, or if that is what you choose to use, and you're clearing out golems, then my job's done here. As long as you can play the game and do whatever content that you want to do, 
set that bad boy on auto and come back and hopefully your phone isn't on fire here. But I want to say sap and HP aggression. Let me go over here to the dark types real quick because doesn't that sound like somebody we know already and she has a super evo if I can find her. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy too. That is absolutely crazy. Like he's a light mon, but he literally has 10k less HP than Dark Banshee. I'm not even saying Dark Banshee is amazing too, but use what you want to use. It is what it is, but wow. Wow. They really just don't like like Gatito whatsoever, you guys. And all right, we have last but not least the Saving Grace and also one of my two favorite mons in MSL cuz as Soon as I began MSL and I saw this dude, I was like, I want a Gatito, and I think it took me roughly like a year or so to get him, because I started at a time where he just wasn't around, and I was just super happy seeing uh, other YouTubers at the time, like Fantasy, running, I think he had like a Dark Thor, and also Gatito, and like Dragons B10, way back in the day here, but yeah, Gatito is just one of my favorite, even though I don't really use him anymore, uh, he's just... Very, very good design. I know it's Puss in Boots, but still very, very good design. He hits like a butt cheek on a stick, especially for his time. And yeah, he's just a lovely mod to have, especially if you have nothing else here. But anyways, Dark Gatito, he is an attacker type. He's coming in with 23k HP, 3.2k attack, and then 2.3k defense. So HP stat is a little bit low. Defense is right around normal and then attack stat well it is what it is uh and do keep in mind too that he's a dark mon so he does have that higher crit damage but let's go ahead and take a look at these skills here so for his three star skill he has morale boost which grants 100 percent chance to restore his sp by 30 percent this is great because even if he's not getting orbs this is still a reliable way for him to get into his five star skill which once again i indicated earlier in the video since he's single target he has a higher multiplier than aoe mon so the damage that he does is going to be very lethal especially when you go over here and you combine it with something like hunter which increases his critical hit damage by 50 percent so already in your mind you, sh you should be saying if he has hunter and he's also a dark mon and also an attacker with a 3.2k attack stat I should probably be throwing him on like an intuition set or something of that nature where he has high crit rate because I've said this before in my videos and I'll say it again. If a mon has hunter and they do not crit on that 5 star skill or that 3 star skill, that skill basically doesn't exist. The skill is wasted. You're losing out on free damage. But taking a look at the skill books, we don't get a boost in morale boost which would be great even though I said boost like almost twice in a row here, but it does go up by a whopping 35%. I would love for it to go up to maybe 40%, but that probably won't happen. And then Hunter also receives a 20% damage boost, which in the grand scheme of things isn't that big, but when you consider, you know, you're putting that on top of a modifier already, things could definitely get quite spicy here. So in terms of Dark Gatito, he's essentially the greatest of all time. He has been one of the highest hitting single target Astromon outside of Wood Pinolo, especially during his time and his reign, which he still does great damage now, but more so in like a PvP slash dragon scenario so to summarize things i will say that smart study has done my boy gatito wrong yes i understand that dark gatito especially at some point in time in the past was super amazing but nowadays i mean he's still amazing just extremely niche and more geared towards newer players out there but why why is the rgb that dirt nasty bad like why why but anyways, basically to summarize things up here, the RGB should honestly just be for Capture Festival slash getting them for your Astro Guide only. If you want to rock wood in a PvP situation for the hell of it, by all means do what you want to do. I would honestly recommend that if you're going to attempt that, just do it during the Nat 3 League. Because outside of that, he's just absolutely going to get floored. There's no way. Light could possibly have his uses inside the Elemental Tower of Chaos if you need him for that purpose. Don't quote me on it because, well, we're not going to talk about what I haven't been doing here. But yeah, I mean, I've heard players say that Light Gatito has come in handy for them. And if he comes in handy and he can help you clear out content, then 
by all means once again there's no issues with that whatsoever and with his HP aggression too you can get away with building him kind of tanky and possibly having him like outlast the other mons on your uh, team in terms of clan versus clan too and then obviously we do have Dark Tito who can still be used in PvP up to a certain point there's Dragon Dungeon as well where I mentioned nuking and the lovely part too is the Apophis Dungeon can take advantage of him at least in the earlier stages of it so it's not like we're capturing garbage all the time there is a useful one there just pray to RNG that he has a square slot and yeah that's pretty much it you guys see ya